Hello friends, my name is Praveen Nayak. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to create a virtual machine skill set. If you like this video, then please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Uh, so virtual machine skill sets are basically a group of virtual machines which are treated as a single unit. Uh, so if uh, a organization needs virtual machines on the fly uh, or during the uh, peak uh, demand period, then the virtual machines are allocated from these scale sets and the load is balanced and the traffic is re rerouted to the available or the free virtual machines. Similarly, when the demand goes down, then the virtual machines are removed from the network and uh, whatever is the minimum set of virtual machines needed to, uh, uh, to, to, to manage the uh, required traffic. So that will be available in your network. So, so this is a good thing. Uh, and it is very helpful actually. Uh, so uh, I will show you how to do it now. So let's uh, go to create a resource. And here you can search for virtual machine. Skill set. So as you can see, so this this is the uh, page you will get uh, when you search for that and then hit the create button so we have to enter a few things you need a resource group so let's create a resource group called as azure demo resource group and a skill set name so i will give it as uh, vms All right, uh, availability zone, uh, you can create availability zones. Uh, so let's create two availability zones. So in this case, uh, these zones are basically uh, different areas in the region. So which have separate power and separate uh, supply line. Uh, so if one zone or one uh, zone goes down, then there will be the, the, the virtual machine, the other zone will be available. So it is good redundancy feature. Uh, and uh, so there is a uh, you know uh, so in case of failure so you have a better uh, chance of surviving the failure if you have uh, multiple uh, zones uh, we will leave rest of the things uh, this is the mandatory username uh, password so I will give uh, username like uh, as you log in and a password so this is the password which you have to use uh, when you uh, RDP to the virtual machine. So RDP, you have to do it uh, through your uh, remote desktop uh, software on your Windows uh, machine. So you have to type uh, msdsc in your run command prompt and then uh, and then go to uh, go to this uh, and then you can using using that you can RDP uh, to this machine. Uh, we'll leave, uh, leave it blank and then go to disk. Uh, here you can use premium SSD or standard or like standard is good for dev and test environment. Premium is for production environment. Uh, and if you just want it as a backup uh, disk, then HDD, HDD is good. So we'll go for the standard SSD encryption, leave it default. Uh, advanced we don't do anything here so let's go to now networking in networking uh, you can see uh, it will create by default uh, uh, this particular network and the network interface all those things will be created for us yes we want to use a load balancer uh, so default is the azure load balancer you can also create an application gateway uh, we'll leave it uh, to the azure load balancer and this new load balancer will be created Next, go to scaling. Scaling is where if the demand is high, then if you want to have a rule and uh, based on which you want to scale out or scale in, then you can configure it here. It here. So for example, here, if I'm selecting custom, then I get all these options. Uh, so if I select like minimum number of instances uh, and the maximum number of instances, so one is the minimum instance, uh, and up to 10, I want to scale out uh, during the peak demand period. Uh, 
and the condition is that uh, if in CPU usage is 75% for at least 10 minutes, then only you scale out and increase the number of VMs uh, by a count of one. Okay, so I can change it to two or three or four, whatever I want. And if I change it to two, then two VMs will be added when it hits this particular rule, uh, this particular condition. Uh, the minimum duration should be five minutes. Uh, it cannot be less than five, maximum can be 60. So if you if you give a number below five, then you will get an error like this. So what we'll do is we'll make it uh, 10. Uh, and then the scale-in policy is that if the CPU usage goes below 25%, then decrease the instance by a count of one. Okay, we'll leave rest of the things uh, as default and uh, go to management here. Uh, there is uh, it is only if you want to do something here, you know, with identity management system or as you're ready, then you can uh, configure it. We'll go to health. Uh, these things we can leave it to default actually, uh, and directly go to review and create. So validation passed. Now I will go ahead and create it. It will take a while to uh, create this. All right. So now the deployment is complete. Uh, so the uh, scale set or solution scale set has been created. So let's go to the virtual machine scale set now here uh, what we will do is uh, we will now uh, so the the virtual machine scale set is created but if you want to log in uh, to this so you need to configure uh, the inbound rules okay so that is done in the networking blade so here you have to add one inbound port rule so like so you give it so keep these things at default so any any and here the port will be 3389 allow and i will rename this to 3389 okay so now it will create the security rule uh, and now what we can do is uh, the rule is created now so you can see it is allowed green uh, so what we will do is we have to now find out the ip address which we have to provide in our remote desktop uh, software now after the after the creation of this uh, security inbound rule what we need to do is we have to find out the ip address and the port number to which we need to rdp so go to load balancing click on the load balancer here you will find the inbound NAT rules. Click on this, and this is your IP address, which is same as the front end IP, which is basically which you can also find out from here from the uh, overview. Uh, but you need to get this one. So this is the port. So you have to give this IP colon the port uh, when you want to RDP to this machine. So that's pretty straightforward, and you can try it out. So that's all about this video. If, if you have any questions or comments, then please let me know. Thank you.